COVID-19 vaccines work to train our immune systems so that when we are confronted by the real virus, we are already prepared and ready to fight. In South Africa, there are three vaccines that have been authorized for use for the prevention of COVID-19 disease. They are the Pfizer vaccine, the J&J vaccine, and the CoronaVac vaccine made by Sinovac. I will give you an explanation of how these three vaccines work in training our immune systems against uh, COVID-19. Pfizer is an mRNA vaccine, whereas JNJ is a viral vector vaccine. CoronaVac is a whole inactivated virus. Pfizer is an mRNA vaccine, which means that a piece of RNA, which is the mRNA, is injected into your body to direct your cells to produce the spike proteins that are similar to what you find on the surface of the coronavirus. But remember, these are not live spike proteins and therefore cannot cause COVID-19 disease. But they are there to train your immune system to identify this as coronavirus and mount that immune response that is going to help you once you then get you know, exposed to the real virus. Similarly, with the J&J vaccine, an inactivated form of an adenovirus, which is harmless to the human being, is introduced into the cells for the production of the spike proteins. These spike proteins, like I said, are not harmful to the body, but are there to train the immune system so that by the time you are exposed to the real coronavirus, you already have an immune system that remembers and is able to fight against the real infection. In the case of CoronaVac, which is a whole um, inactivated virus, the whole virus is introduced into the system and it is identified by the body as an invader and an immune response is mounted. So you develop or train your army so that in future, when you are actually exposed with the real thing, you are then already ready uh, to fight. In all these three vaccines, there are many others that I will not discuss during this uh, talk because those vaccines are currently not available in South Africa. But it is important to understand that in all these forms of technologies, the one main aim is really to train the immune system using either full, as in the whole virus, inactivated, or parts of the virus either introduced through the RNA, which is the mRNA uh, vaccines, or using a viral vector, which is an inactivated harmless virus that is introduced to actually train the immune system. You will therefore understand that because these are fake or inactivated or inactive particles or full uh, forms of virus, they cannot make you sick and therefore you cannot get COVID from the vaccine itself. But it is really just about training your immune system for future exposure to the real infection. Specifically relating to mRNA vaccines, it is important to understand that once they have been introduced to the cell, and stimulated the production of spike protein. The mRNA disintegrates very quickly and it does not integrate with our DNA because it does not enter the nucleus of the cell. mRNA only is used in the cytoplasm of the cell. Like all other proteins, the spike proteins will be broken down into amino acids and disposed of in weeks. The Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine is an mRNA vaccine administered in two doses. These doses are administered 42 days apart in South Africa, but the registered uh, dose interval is at the minimum of 21 days. Individuals who have received the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine are considered fully vaccinated after two weeks post their second dose of the vaccine. The j, &J vaccine, on the other hand, is a single dose vaccine you are considered fully vaccinated after 28 days post your vaccination. The CoronaVac is a two-dose vaccine with the interval between the doses being two to four weeks and considered being fully vaccinated after two weeks post the second dose. 